Right now we're going back to Jane Miller at TL Kennedy. Congratulations, Margaret. Thank you very much, Jane. And uh, I know Mary Helen is thrilled that you have won. Yes, I, I think that Margaret's done her homework well. I, I really must admit that when I went into the All Candidates meeting, I went in there with an open mind, you know, wondering how the candidates were going to do. And I think you really won a lot of people at that All Candidates do meeting, you? Margaret. And uh, I think the people were there to see what the candidates stood, uh, you know, how they stood on the issues. And um, I think they, they came across to you because of your stand that you took on the issues in the ward. How do you feel? I feel just fabulous. I really would like to commend Mary Helen, too, because I thought you were extremely fair. I, no, as far as I knew, no one knew who you personally were even yeah. supporting, Mary Helen. And I think when you're an incumbent who is not seeking mm -hmm. re-election, that that's a very difficult role to play. And I thought it was just very admirable that I never knew where you stood yeah. with me personally, and I didn't know where you stood with anyone else. And anyone that I spoke to, they said, is Mary Helen supporting you? I said, I have no idea, yeah. and, I, and no one I knew did, and that well, is difficult. I think, yes, I think, and I, I think that that, I felt at times, towards the end of the election, mind you, I sort of thought, gee, maybe I should have come out more strong for someone, because I guess I felt from the all-candidates meeting that you really, you know, did know what was going on. Hi. Better, so. Carter Rowley from Ward 1. I guess it's kind Again, of late now, but I'd like Margaret, to offer my congratulations to, to Mr. Counter. Kennedy. Any tips I'd like Helen? to offer my well, congratulations. Well, no, I don't have any. I'm sure Margaret. Well. I, I'm just and wondering what you think of the issues that, you know, what, what do you really uh, think the issues that, the biggest issues that you're going to face in the next two, in the next two years? And I thank all my workers. Well, ward-wise or city-wise? Ward-wise. Ward I think we have to make some major plans as to what we're going to do with the traffic that's going to be generated by the Lakeshore study area as it develops. And uh, certainly, the, as far as I'm personally concerned, the PCB issue mm -hmm. is yes, yes. very major. Uh -huh. And um, I have concerns about development that uh, detracts from established areas. And, and uh, we have, you know, Lorne Park and Old Clarkson is a very much an established area. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most beautiful mm -hmm. wards, as far as I'm concerned, in the city. And I really feel that with the new development we have coming in, that's fine. It's inevitable, but it mustn't detract from what we already have. Do you, what do you see as the city, and how do you feel about your, your seat on the regional council? That's part of your new duties as well. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Of course, having been on a regional school board for yes, four years, true. I'm You've used to looking at the region as a whole. And, uh, you know, 484 square miles doesn't intimidate me yeah. because uh, that's how I've been thinking. Um, of course, the, the concerns at regional government are different than when they're only limited to school board responsibilities. Yes, yes. So I'm looking forward to the broadness of that responsibility. Well, I'm sure you'll do a fine job as long as you keep in touch with the people. I think that's one of the... That's that's one of the and keep an open mind. I, I hope that... I mm -hmm. worry... Some of the rumors that are around, you know, say that certain people are aligned with certain parties and that kind of thing, and I don't like to see that on, on, at a municipal level. And I think you stated that yourself. Too, I stated you? it very clearly because I do not support party politics at City Hall or at the school board. I think it's a very dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. We saw what happened in Britain when, the, when that started to affect the county councils in Britain. And I think it's just a deadly situation when it gets into that level of government. Yeah. I also think that Ward 2 tends to feel that way as well, because always on the, on the, during the Ward 2 councillor and mayoralty campaigns, usually the people really have an open mind, and they don't associate that municipal level with their party politics at the other level. So I think they feel that too, and I think it's important to keep their support that you feel that. Jane Margaret, thank you very much, and, and good luck on the new council. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Mary Helen.